What do you put in a travel altar to Hecate? Hello witches, I'm answering questions I've gotten on videos about Hecate, so if you are on or you can check out the playlist this is part of to see other Q&A. Altars, including travel altars, are as varied as we witches are, so I will show you mine. A mint tin was too small for me, so I put mine in an earbud box. Still small, still discreet. I personally love candles. I tried sigils for a while, especially for long ongoing projects, but they didn't seem to work as well as lighting a candle once a week. So if I have an ongoing working, I'll put some candles in that I already consecrated and dressed. If I don't have any, I'll put a couple red, white, and black candles because those are the colors that most resonate for me when connecting with Hecate. Don't forget candle holders and something to light them with. I was in a bind when I brought the matches, but not a way to strike them. You can also put in some crystals that you connect with her. Black tourmaline and rose quartz. I think that's black tourmaline. I have so many black crystals. You could also carry a little baggie of herbs to offer her. I love mugwort. This I grew in my garden, so I have some of that. Check out this adorable glass jar. If you like spell bottles, you can make a tiny one for your travel altar. It could be one of your ongoing workings or a protection spell specifically for travel. Or maybe you don't want to dress the candles before you go, so put the oil you use in there. Don't like plastic baggies? You put your herbs in here. I've gotten these at the dollar store and on Amazon. You can bring incense cones with something to light it, of course. And I also make sure I have Hecate Strophilos with me as a connection to her. I wear this as a necklace, but to make sure it doesn't get lost while I'm traveling, I put it in my travel altar. If you have questions, Questions about witchcraft or Hecate, please put them in the comments. 